Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. A uh, very, very impromptu, and that's because uh, there's a Street Fighter 6 trailer at Sony State of Play. Despite the fact Sony said that there'd only be, well not only, but there'd be indie games, Suicide Squad, and VR. I was caught off guard. So instead of reacting on the fly, instead I'm reacting to the VODs, which got published like really, really quickly after the State of Play showed the trailer. So here it is, the final three characters of the base game, Zangief, Lily, and Kami. Zangief looks really good, by the way. <laughs> now, right off the bat, they started the trailer with auto combo that's just light punch three times. The jab auto combo knocks down, but the kick auto combo does not. This one does not knock down, so you could go for another strike or throw. Standard throw. Spinning Power Driver. Now, based on Zangief uh, appearing on the other side, this is Proximity Kick SPD. Normal Kick SPD is the bear run, but in Street Fighter 4, and they removed this from Street Fighter 5, if you do it Proximity, it does a completely different move. It has a lot of corner carry, but you side switch. Now, the beta does not have any command grab characters. If this command grab cannot be quick rised, then it's just as good as an Ultra Street Fighter 4. If it can be quick rised, then it's probably just as bad as Omega Street Fighter 4. Reason why is uh, if you do this mid screen, you put yourself in the corner. And what happens is, if it cannot, uh, if it can be quick rise, you put A, you put yourself in the corner. B, look at the distance between you and your opponent, it is considerable. It's really bad. <laughs> what game did Zangief have dropkick in? I don't remember a single one. The counter he had in Street Fighter V, jump SPD. A Street Fighter 5 vacuum into grab and then a grab super. Next up is Lily, the successor to T Hawk. So Lily is basically T Hawk. Uh, a grappler in Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 4, although Street Fi Omega Street Fighter 4 decentivized the command grab aspects in favor of every other move to make this very interesting character. But this time, given how Lily is using clubs, I'm wondering if her moveset is basically the T Hawk's Omega moveset, although she also has a wind mechanic. And this is going to make some of her moves stronger, notably her supers. Condors have this wind effect, and I'm wondering if powering up wind is going to make these stronger. Command throw. Level 1 super. Level 3 super. One more character. Given how popular Kami is, both in the fandom as well as uh, competitive Street Fighter V, I was surprised they saved her for last. New target combo. Axel Spin Knuckle is a special move. So it's no longer a V skill, you either have it or you don't. You have it all the time now. It's a uh, project on vulnerable strike. Spiral Arrow. Cannon Strike. Okay, so she has Hooligan into Dive Kick and Hooligan as well to a bunch of different grabs. If you do this move, which is like a hop command normal, she does dive kick without the need for hooligan. She can literally dive kick from any, well, seemingly a forward jump or a command normal that makes her jump. 
C that combined with her earlier Shoryuken move that hits multiple times makes me think that she has V Trigger 1 all the time, although at a much more limited capacity. Multi hit Spiral Arrow as well, which combos into uh, Shoryu. That's also a thing she got from V Trigger 1. Level 2 Super. Another flip move, uh, which is completely different from Hooligan, it's her V Trigger 2. Her V Trigger 2 is like a, is a command jump or a command dash, and if you command jump, you can choose between a strike, uh, which hit crouchers, or a grab, uh, you can use to grab people who stand up. So literally a 50-50 from a jump. She can now do it all the time, which could be really strong. If this isn't trailer bullshit, and she can actually combo from it, that will be especially dangerous. So that's it for Street Fighter 6. We have every single character revealed at launch. The next character reveals are going to be DLC. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you like this trailer breakdown, uh, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Have a nice day.